Uh, hi, I'm Martin Radic. I wrote and directed Norfolk, and this is Finley. Yeah, hi, I'm Finley Pretzel, the producer of Norfolk. Uh, Norfolk uh, takes place in the middle of nowhere, or more accurately, on the flatlands of Norfolk, and it's a father and son uh, story, um, which is very mysterious. It, turns and twists and turns it has a lot of unsaid things and unanswered things also all the way through it's a yeah it's a an experience I would say and very kind of fresh and unique collect images, well I do, occasionally, and I remember I collected this image from this book in a library about 15 years ago, and it was this old photograph of a soldier from World War II, I think, or World War I, and I was quite struck by, I could look at this portrait of the soldier, and I could see both a courageous hero, but I could also see a shell-shocked individual. And I liked the idea that I could be looking at something and it was telling me two stories. I could read it one way or another. And, then, and so I had, that was, I suppose, the inspiration to try and create a world whereby it was ambiguous and that the audience needed to kind of like choose how they felt each character was behaving, whether or not it was responsibly or irresponsibly. I've known Martin for years and we've worked together like so many times and I think I was a massive fan of Crack Willow I thought it was just kind of mind-blowing in so many ways. The main thing was people just got behind Martin. They wanted him to do this. They wanted to do the best thing possible, you know? So I think that, that was the, the, the biggest help from sound design, editing to, you know, gaffers, everyone really just believed in Martin and his voice, which was a huge help for us, really, you know. My name is Barry Keoghan. My character in the film is the boy and he, all he knows is basically him and his father's life. Uh, he's no, like he's no interaction with the outside world, like, like social, like socializing and society, he's none of that. The only, the only chance or glimpse of it he gets to see is like when the broadcast and on the telly and that. So he's grown up watching the telly and and basically creating his own happiness and entertainment with nature. Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, well, when I get a role, um, it's always a process for me. I always take four or five weeks to... I have three notebooks. Like, one is for just random questions. I get me nanny and I get me auntie to write the most, basically write any question, you know, so then I have to fill the mountain character, and then I have a book on, on the story, questions about the story, and then then I have another book just for drawing, like just drawing and drawing. So three copy books I always bring with me, um, and to get me into character, and then I, I like to dress like the character, I like to uh, listen to music he listens to, uh, hang out places he hangs out, and just, that's a big part for me, is getting into character, that's the best part.
Denny. Um, yeah, Denny's the actor I want to be in in ten years' time. Even now, if I could, but I think I'll have to get more experience to become where he like to become what he he is. He is um he does this thing where he he says a million words with his eyes. You know, you'll see it in the performance. Um, and I tried to replicate that as as the boy being being a son in the film. I tried to do what he does and keep it so so. Um, but he does, yeah. He, with his eyes, he just yeah, he just does an amazing thing. Like he he told me before, he goes mind and eyes. You know, that's that's your performance. Like, um, so yeah, he's probably the best actor I've worked with ever. That's what I think cinema should be. I, Fellini is and Austin Wells is cinema. They, they, you're attempting to, I don't know, create a unique world. I don't, I think that's, that's our job, isn't it? We, yeah, I just, I just want more. <laughs>